Greetings from VIP Southern Hospitality, Tabby Island, Savannah Beach. Still here. Still kidding. Okay. Smart kids. Today I am going to discuss because I honestly don't think I will ever escape. Honestly. Because it was a smart plan. I was smartly murdered. Slaught four male slaughterhouse. A meat processor. Whatever. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever escape. I think I'm probably going to die. I think I'll I've got several conclusions, but yeah. Don't think I'll ever escape. Media is too guilty. Too many guilty wealthy. But that's part two. Today I'm going to talk about the Let It Bleed, the Rolling Stones book. God. See, they got, what they had to do was they're playing sides the good and bad. You got the Jesus freaks on one side and the demon deacons and the entertainers and idols on the other. And I'm stuck paying for both sides. And that, you know, they've got to keep me, rather than me being in the pyramid, where it's a stable, it's a meat canyon. Because they think a canyon is more so safer than just a big deep. But either way, it's not very stable. Because one story could blow this whole thing off. And we're talking about, they're really screwing some people globally who are going to get pissed off when reality um, blossoms. So, the let it bleed. Because I think it goes back to Georgia Jagger being the daughter of Mick Jagger and Jerry Hall, who was from Mesquite, Texas. And that's blasphemy, you know, for them. <clears throat> so, of course, that relegate, that's one of the also reasons they're teaching me the lesson and uh, how they feel. Or it's this psychotic impotence. So, yeah, Georgia Jagger and uh, Let It Bleed. So, what happened was they just, my entire life, I was run through a gauntlet. Speared and stabbed, gushers, sacred wounds. There's all sorts of, everything matters more than me. I'm not allowed to get better because everything matters more than me. I, you know, sacred disease, I, you know, I can't even, you know, everything. They want, they are some Jew down, St. Bart's thrashing, skateboard cheap, max profit, men paying the minimum. That's SEC smarts, they're in business. Because the degree I've got that is my, my slave degree is in business. So they had to prove they're better than me to justify keeping it. Keeping me. Because <clears throat> i got to play by their dungeon master rules trying to escape. So far I'm not very good at it. I mean, yeah. But I mean, we're talking about literally extreme poverty. Most of my life I made between four and 10000 a year. That's an adult. So... I mean, that's, you know, that's not even the ability to barely feed yourself. You know, that's a one Louis Vuitton purse a year. That's how cheap two down they were skateboarding on St. Bart to prove who's the real master. That goes back to that direction. Or uh, trying to validate the creation, the Butterfingers fetching. And I, and like I said, I'm an interpreter of what I see, the scams, of what are going on. That's all I've always been. I've been an interpreter. Sort of a medium, if you would. I see, and that's so yeah. I fetch a lot. I fetch a VIP skirt stakes. I, you know, Jewel, the JV Jewel Ball is wide open. They're, you know, they're the master. They can go in and take what they want and print up a bunch of Monopoly money that I convert to real global good cash with the St. Louis Nine Bank. And uh, also, I fetch them. The GG, the Grand Theft Auto. I fetch them exotic vehicle. And also, then this is all speculative. It's all based on monopoly money, though, for the most part. You can pay for anything with monopoly money as long as I'm there to con I fetch it and convert it. Wow, deal of the century, Chevy Chase. Yeah, chasing my life. And it all goes back to, not really, I had to, ch you know, I, I've always had to, ch you know, people have never really approached me. I've always had to be the dog and chase them down and hunt them, you know, because they're so VIP special. Proves how special they are when they prove how valuable I am. That is sure how real super special they really are. So I was set up in this gauntlet slaughterhouse to let it bleed, stabbed and speared bunches of times. So now they don't really have to do it. The scams are in place. I'm a distribution factory, distribution hub. You know, I'm just laying it. 
every day. They get, you know, it's it's like they uh from office space. You know, they already planted the virus in you. The Trojan uh, Trojan horse worm is already there. So now I just produce. That's it. And they don't pay anything. It's free money. You know, it's like a, you know they try to claim it as the Mississippi River or whatever, but in actuality, it's it, it's beyond any comprehension of how bad I'm doing. Screw it. Deliver it. Maybe John Boyd in that. Midnight Cowboy. So they, I mean, they're making their, it's like the Indian, the joke of the Indian. They're going to get their money's worth out of their slave. And they don't even have to they keep their hands clean because I was set up. And they're trying to claim it as natural resources, even though they pay nothing. I mean, it would be like yeah, just finding a big pile of cash and paying, you know, that's basically all it is. Found a big pile of cash in the woods and then just gave it away. It's rough. So, yeah, let it bleed. Uh, tattoo you, because tattoo is God to this whole sort of scam. Because it's a conne- it's all a connection. It's a matrix. The TI equals in, uh, variable. So, the, uh, and, and there's all sorts of things. I get a lot of mail threats. And there's obviously, there's consciousness. And I can see the consciousness of knowing. Obviously, no, they want to haunt me. They're trying to play this as religion. Demon deacons are untouchable. You know, even though that's the whole killing James Bond joke, license to ill beastie boy, they reversed it because of their worshipful thing. So now they actually make me the most, the least licensed to ill. That's the whole joke. I'm unable, to, I get away with nothing. I pay maximum for everything. And it's a shame. Because I'm worth a lot. Most people, they wouldn't care about. Most people, you know, who cares? It's like that National Lampoon ad with they got a pick up, they've got a uh, gun to the head of a dog. You know, who really cares? Kill the fucking dog. Oh, even though that's sort of mentality. But that, that's the, and that's why society, because of this scam, there's no civilized structure. Everything, it's all worshiping this grit. Anybody can play it. It's when you worship an electric grid, the equality of electricity is therefore that more valid than the reality of, I'm supposed to be the old bait and switch was. They plugged me into the public grid, whereas I'm supposed to be a private bank. But they decided to rob the private bank, and you know, that, that's the whole bait and switch trading places, reverse of the fortune, freaky Friday, whatever. And I use a lot of these symbolic, symbolical, it's astronomical mariner celestial alarm to like show what's going on because I connect to a big chunk of the world. So the world, you know, that it, go, it ties into the church, it ties into um, the Mississippi River, ties into mariners, ties into um, astronomy. Astrology, all sorts of things. But then you got into their play. It's like they think they get a date because the cops are involved, because of the de- civic blood token, and the media is guilty. Now they think they get, they get a chance to. It's this mentality of we get to argue our, the rebuttal. That's what it, that's what's going on right now. I have to sit and wait for their rebuttal. Regardless, I mean that's what it is. So they get to take these. It's like going to, a, it's like shooting out a cop sign. So it's like, if I'm a cop, uh, some, well, when I get screwed, it sets off a siren. So then they get their rebuttal, they get to shoot at the marksmen, get to shoot at the cop sirens and knock it out. That's basically what's going on. They're shooting at the cop siren alarm, or they use this pollution to try to surreal to hide the truth. So yeah, they'll, they'll, the surreal nature of blood doping or gas, because it, it ties into the reality like I talked about previously. There's your virtual reality state, then there's your reality state. In virtual reality, I'm, that's the omega. Even though but in reality, I'm a giant. But they only play what's going on in the virtual reality state. The electric grid is the virtual reality state, which everybody worships. And they're trying to make me justify, you know, that's why I have to be so reverent and empathetic and they're trying to prove how valuable it is by ruining my life. It's also the battle of the English language versus code. The um, the, the, scam, the scammers hate real English. 
because it's mathematically based, it's logic, you know, it makes sense, it's logic. They, so they use the validity of all this massive amount of cash produced by code, which can be, code can be written by anyone, and then it's validated by society, the pop idol society. So there's really a war going on between the English language and code, what is in the money that's derived from code and the everyday reliance upon code and the, uh, the addiction to the electric code grid, therefore validate. That's a whole other war going on that I've used because I also, it goes back to me like the, me being a lord, as you would, of an estate. Like my estate, I, and I'm a, the principal, as you would, a bank officer. But the bank officer has been kidnapped, and they're looting the estate. So it would be like going, I'm using this as an example. You go into an area, you just wipe out the law. Just get rid of the law. We don't like it. Just remove it. And then replace it with a bunch of cronies who give out all the loot. That's basically what they just wiped it out. And then in the, the trophy kill, as you would, then they're eating all the meat, as the analogy. Or that's where you get into the real poor judgment um, on these wealth and these uh, the refinery process and all that. I'm not against petrochemical industry, even though it is messing up the planet. But what I'm more worried about is the representation of values that are placed upon these, these sacred plastics that are generated through a co See, I provide them. I make the plastics magic. I give them the magic oomph. That's the special Popeye's uh, ingredient, but I'm not allowed to use it. So, that's what they are. So, the mob is good at cajoling guilty accomplices. Oh, and that's why I'm dragged, I'm skated around on my, I'm a, you know, a par weekend at Bernie's. I can't move. I'm paralyzed. I can't, you know, I'm just dragged around on a leash. And the joke of Daniel Craig and killing James Bond by J.W. Pepper, that's the JVV. But J.W. is also Jehovah's Witnesses, which believe in the Armageddon. Then you get into the Argo Armageddon. You know, they're trying to avoid Armageddon because the reality of paying the bill. They don't want to pay the bill on Armageddon, so they're going to hijack Armageddon. So they got these mob accomplices or cajole. So I'm dragged, that's why I was dragged around. The media is now guilty of burying my body. So the media, you know, they can get away with anything. Now, that's what they were trying to do. They really wanted to screw me real bad. That, that was the whole thing about, it might seem like, oh, I got a vacation. Yeah, I'm going to pay in a ton for my vacation, my terrible, terrible vacation, because the media screwed me. So now, what I paid for in my terrible, terrible vacation was the media screwing me and burying my body. So now the real pain and torture. See, what they were, uh, I, I've joked about it before. They wanted the mental torture until my body failed. Then they get the physical gravy, pain gravy. So, the cajoled guilty accomplices. It's like the, mug, the mugger permanent mark. So they mugged me, they beat me, they speared me, they stabbed me, and the wounds are sacred because I matter least. My reality is I pay out everything. I pay out to everybody. It's like going to a casino. Every time you go in, you win. Bo revive. But see, they even there's a, even bribes to MGM to bury the body. That's what the uh, Planet Hollywood. You know, that, that's the bribe that's going on with MGM to bury my body. You know, to try to steal that, to hijack that. So, I pay out every time. Every, I, I lose to everybody. So, every sacred stab wound, everything matters more than me. Everything I eat, poison. Everything I drink, poison. Everything. I matter least based upon this scam, the kidnapper scam hat. I mean, that's smart kidnapping there. I mean, they just basically... Made me, and then I'm all, but then they're trying to play it as reverent to be mean because I'm, I am bottle fed. Um, the doctors are involved. You know, I'm reverent to everything. I'm empathetic to anything and everything to get their max profit out of their slave. So yeah, they got the cajoled guilty. The wealthy really screwed up. So the wealthy are now guilty. So now the wealthy are going to be used as attack vehicles to go fetch global assets to the mob. 
really what's going on. They have to. The wealthy are guilty. The only way the wealthy sustain their position is expansion. They have to expand globally because they didn't want to build a bank. They were playboys. They wanted to stay outside and ski and party and play and hunt and fish and play polo and all this stuff. Now the wealthy are guilty because my mission was to build a Louisiana bank. To It was the wealthy bank. But then that's where you got into the whole, that's why my sister got kidnapped. The whole bait and switch reverse of fortune of body snatchers. So the wealthy are now worshiping the electric grid based upon, it goes into my sister at SMU, so now they did the whole reversal thing. So now the wealthy are worshiping Texas, which is a quantitative driven county state, versus the global parishes of Louisiana, which would provide them global protection. So and now they have to destroy the global state by quantitative methods, which is not great economically. It's really not smart. It's basically yeah, it's not smart. It's totally identity crisis. Makes it, it would be like the wealthy worshiping Walmart, even though they only shop at Neiman Marcus. They're got, you know, the wealthy gods are the Walmart or the fast food, even though the wealthy don't want to have anything to do with Walmart or fast food. You know, they want to eat at the, um, the, the VIP restaurant. They want to eat at the shop at the luxury stores. But because they never built a bank and they're guilty accomplices to the mob, the wealthy are now worse. Their gods to maintain their position in society are these, these global category killers and global fast food in order to expand because the protect oh, that's the only way they can buy protection because they screwed up. They played too long. They got screwed by the energy. They got brainwashed. You blame it on the chemical plants. You blame it on oil or energy. But yeah, that's what happened. They got brainwashed. They got gassed. And they got screwed. And now they're paying the price. But I have to be, remain kidnapped. I can't because if I grow up, I can actually. It's I can build a castle. My vulnerability is the key to the skin. I am fueling the. Re I am the supply train for the global anarchy revolution. I literally am. I am the main supplier for the fuel, for the food, for the everything, for the global anarchy revolution. But if I grow up, I could build a bank vault, a jewel vault, and they would lose a lot of their funding or their, you know, the supply chain. So they are desperate to keep me because I am supplying the fuel to the global anarchy revolution. Okay, yeah, they got to, they got to destroy the cremation massive. Destroy every shred of credibility. Where it goes back into, like I said, my credibility was derived from these celestial sirens, which are supposed to be manufactured into tangible proof to justify bank land management controlling assets because of credibility, because of the onset of individuality. See, when we got hijacked at a, front, a key time, because everybody knew with the rising sun dawning of uh, technology, individuality would be so important. But they did not allow the bank to be built. And so you basically have a bunch of sacred individuals that are outside. Because we would have been able to, because of the, that's where it goes into Dutch Soup Dynasty. The credibility issue of the, you know, the same thing that's validating individuality. So, we were hijacked at the key time when we really needed to build a castle structure. Brainwashed, you think, you know, they're brainwashed us to be able to control it. So, yeah, they've got to destroy every shred of credibility, the rebuttal against any credibility as their, um, that's just, that's what they consider, that's, my, that's the kidnapper healthcare, which I pay for because I matter least. So the kidnapper of healthcare is destroy every shred of credibility. Just cremated. Yeah, incompetent drivers. We've been driven around incompetently, blinded, purposely. I mean, it's like driven around through a slaughterhouse. I mean, basically, we were driven through a slaughterhouse to be, and now I'm just a carcass laid here with my sacred wound, unable to 
do anything. And then you've got the spread distribution, option spread. So they take what my optimal moment, the, the real equation of what would I, the best case scenario and worst case scenario. Best case scenario, worst case scenario. And everything in between is the matrix. The big pie chart, the graph. So the matrix is where I am and what I actually could be worth and optimal. So that's the spread. That's what they distribute. That's what powers the matrix. Really, is. it's a bar, it's a three-dimensional graph. That's the matrix. It's a matrix. Is. It's a three-dimensional graph of my the best case scenario, the worst case scenario, and everything in between is distributed as gains or whatever. There's ranks, you know. There's all sorts of games. It really is. It's a play. The Playboy games. I mean, the gambling, the games. And there's all this meat in the middle, but I get nothing because I might escape. And if I can control the atmosphere, then and there might be cor the correction involved. They would lose a lot of the power because if, I, if they want to maximize profit, maximize their power, more power, you know, to balance tool man, they want the most power out of it. So the lower, the worse I'm beaten, the worse the the massacre cremated lynching, then the more distribution spread options. And then that's competition. Free, that's what they call competition, free enterprise. When actuality, the entirety of the free enterprise is based upon how it starts scaling. So, yeah, the smart wizard lynching. That's why the tattoo is worshipped. It's a conductor, tattoo in PI. It's a grid. So, ink. Go ties into the delta, sigma delta chi quill, some delta chi quill, delta being change, and then x marks the spot. Sum of the change of the x marks the spot, delta sigma chi quill, ink, is distributed as a matrix spread. Smart wizard lynching, because they can't, I honestly think, nobody will pay for this crime. I am not trying to, yeah, there's nothing, there, there, it's, they don't need it. It was done. It's like they basically, like I said, they shot me, they stabbed me, they speared me, they mugged me, they beat me, then they just threw me out to die while I was bleeding and what I, my the wounds are sacred or well. So they don't need to do it. They, they use protection, they use layers. That's why I'm in Tybee, but I'm probably, you know, it's a low country boy. Tybee's going to get screwed. Savannah's getting all the good meat. Or other things. I don't know exactly sure where. So yeah, it's smart wizard religion, as we would say. Because they've already done the dirty work. So now it's just they're trying to inflict as much pain because they hate me because I'm the victim. It would be like, you stole somebody's wallet, you started living this grand, you stole their house, you live in this grand life, but it's not really yours, and so you hate the victim who's trying to get their house back. Trying to get my car back. You know, I want my wallet back. Hell no. They, so they hate me trying to get my wallet back. <coughs> because they were smart enough to steal it. Basically what's going on. That's the whole, that's what the hate crime is. They don't, I mean, they hate the victim. Because they love living the grand life. And I'm paying for it. So that's the whole hate. It's not really, it, that's why they've got to be real careful. And it was stupid. Because they could have built a bridge, and they could be, might not be as widespread crazy, but it would, you know, they wouldn't have lost a lot, they wouldn't have lost that much if they would have built a bridge. But they gambled on max profit, I guess. I don't understand. <clears throat> so it's now, it's just, it's, it's like my body is sectioned off, branded or trademarked or whatever. And that's why the tattoo is worse, because that's a, con a common conductor connectivity, whereas then I am relegated to the bottom, paying for the whole system. And then it's a competition thing. But there are so many levels and so many variable hydro dimensions of this, um, hydro headed dimensions of this matrix that I pay for in power. And so, yeah, they've just got me screwed every which way you can, that sort of thing. I honestly can't get anywhere, I can't do anything because I have, I, I, 
I just can't go. I mean, I'm paralyzed. But I and I hate to make light of. Or I'm using metaphor concepts. I'm interpreting. It's like seeing inside the matrix, interpreting. But like I said, I don't think. That, all I'm trying to do is unplug all the parasites from my body and get my life back. I don't think anybody will pay for this crime. I think there was a, it was a pretty much a perfect crime as far as that. But I'm just fighting to get what's left of my life back and trying to get my free my family from slavery um, in order to, but because they were brainwashed in this two-dimensional world. It's like black and white two-dimensional with 50 shades of gray and angles in between to a color three-dimensional world. It wasn't no transition. So they're forced to play because we got the threats of mad, madhouse threats as a gun to our head um, for the uh, hostages. But yeah, I'm trying to, I've got to manufacture, I'm not, a, that's another reason they had to, will not allow me to manufacture things and fruit. Because if I have proof, you know, I, I am not allowed to prove my feelings. And there, are, I've got so many. I mean, it really. I mean, it's a uh, so much, so deep, and so if, when you put all the pieces together, it's just too much. It, it's devastating. So here I, as I lay dying, let's plot me here. Ole Miss hunted by the Ole Miss Cougars while the Playboys are enjoying the right. God of Eden, for the hotel. So, hopefully, I'll escape one of these days. Really got it.